Hello dudes and dudettes. Today I'm gonna give you a very short review uh, of this beautiful, beautiful bass guitar. And it's indeed the 1999 Music Man Stingray matching headstock. Now, the things I'm gonna talk about today very quickly, they should cover most of the basics you need to know about uh, any of the Stingray Music Man basses. So hopefully the information that I give you will convince you to get one of those uh, basses because as far as I'm concerned, they are up there, top three, most versatile, best to play bass guitars out there. Right, so this one, as I mentioned, is a 1999 Stingray and it's one of the more rare ones and it's the reason is because uh, of the matching headstock they usually have the headstock in natural sort of light wood color so uh, if you see one that has a wooden headstock don't be alarmed it still is a, an original music man stingray right without further ado let's go into the uh, specifics of this awesome bass um, first of all it's an active bass with an active pickup but that doesn't mean they can only use it as an active instrument. It also works as a passive bass. Even though it has a battery slot here, uh, you can use this bass even without a battery. So if you prefer a passive bass, which I do, you can play it without having to use the active electronics. You don't have to remove the battery if you want to do that uh, either. So I'll explain how it's done. So you've got four pots here. The first pot, that's your volume pot. So that's the overall volume of your pickup. Then the next pot is your treble frequency pot. Now, there is a middle uh, position here that is very easily felt because the, because the actual pot has uh, uh, stopped there. If you turn it down to zero, like this, that means you've cut the top end frequencies. If you keep it in the middle, that's maximum treble frequencies, but only using the passive electronics. And if you turn it up beyond the midpoint, that automatically starts employing the battery and the active electronics of your Stingray. This same thing applies for all the other buttons. The third pot here, that's your middle frequencies. And also, again, in the middle, it has a little stop in the middle. And that's your basically cutoff point for the passive electronics. So if all three buttons, top frequencies, mid frequencies, and uh, bottom end frequencies, if all of them are in the middle position, that means that you're using only passive electronics and all your frequencies are to the maximum. Any of those buttons, any of those pots, if they are turned beyond this point, beyond the middle point, then that automatically starts the use of your battery and the active electronics on your bass. I hope that makes sense and now I'm gonna do some demonstrations very quickly, just so, you know, I'd, no one likes a long video, right? So the volume is up to maximum, and all the frequency pots are in their mid position. So top end, mid range, and bottom end. They're all in the mid position, so at the moment I will be playing at maximum frequency boost, but not using the active electronics of this beautiful bass. So here we go. And I have to say, it's so easy to play this bass. It's so beautifully, beautifully manufactured. Is I, I don't have, you know, I have no words. You just have to try one. You have to try one. Now, what I'll do is I will turn up the treble frequencies completely down. So see if you can hear any difference. Uh, once again, we're only using passive at the moment. Mid frequencies completely down. Whoops. And bottom end completely down. Yeah, not much, is it? So. Now I'm going to put it back into the mid position, so still only using the passive option. And as soon as I turn up the treble pot up to the maximum beyond the midpoint, then that's when the active electronics start taking over and the battery is being used. So. You 
can already hear it. It's brighter, much brighter. Now I'm going to boost the mid frequencies as well. So now we're using maximum top end and mid range boosted by the active electronics. And it sounds compared to no active electronics. And now I'm going to boost all of it, everything. Bottom end, mid range, and top end, all to maximum. So now we're using the maximum boost that this bass can provide for all frequencies. And here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Beautiful. I told you so. Oh no, just one quick trick. If you're a bit of a sloppy poppy kind of guy or gal, um, I'm not, but uh, I learned this from a friend of mine. Uh, it sounds quite nice if you cut the mid-range. So I'm going to cut the mid-range completely and I'm going to leave the boost to the maximum on the top end and the bottom end. And this is what it's going to sound like. All right, giggity.